that 1920. It's an international. I think the only part missing on the whole engine from yonder all the way back, all the way around yonder, you know what I mean? The only part missing on the engine is, and, and I couldn't find an original one. I, I don't, it's been, been misplaced. But I made this in a long time ago. One of them, that little plug that goes in that gasoline starting reservoir. Gas, water, kerosene. If you're running gasoline in the fuel tank, then you run it on the kerosene side. One last thing to do to the engine is to set the flywheels. And, 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 and you know what I mean? I'll take, I'll take, I'll take a man's, uh, I'll atone for a mistake in a minute. The uh, the, the proper procedure before you set the governor, before you do all this governor adjustment up in here, you should set the flywheels tight because it's important that this collar rest completely against the Babbitt bearing right there that the, that the, that the, the collar don't, but the, the, the part on the flywheel does. The, the, this part right here, machine down on that side, comes all the way in and rest against that Babbitt Barry. And then, and, then, and then this collar can go and come. And, and you look down in there and make sure that the spring system is not holding that out. So to do what we're going to do, I'm going to disconnect them springs so that that won't be an interference. And uh, but you know the, the the way I do it, you know maybe it's you know it's just the way I do it. Uh, Taking key ways out on both sides. A short one on this side, long one on this side. We you, you you would slide them out a little bit like this right here. And the reason that I ain't done already had these set fast is. Was a, was a video uh, about the timing, so I kind of got out of sequence to be honest with you, but not none the worse for wear. You just kind of, I, I, uh, on a prior video, if you check back in the series, uh, I did this before, so, but I'm going, I'm going to watch this side over here when I bump this side over here and see how much it comes out this way. Put a mark on that. But in order for me to see the mark on this side over here, I have to knock it that way. Okay, that's as far as it'll go. So I'm going to put a mark in there. Right, right in there. On that crankshaft where it bearing is. 
and then I'm going to knock it back in the way. Watch this. Okay, right there is the measurement. If you if you look right down in there, and it was an eighth of an inch in the other video, if you remember. And, and if I put a mark right there like that right there, it, you know, in all practicality, it's an eighth of an inch play. So all I all 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 is required now for me to do is to knock this, and I done been careful with that greaser right there. Don't don't fear that I hit it too hard, uh, for sure. The, uh, but I'm going to watch those two lines and I'm going to knock it yonder away one half that amount just by eyesight. Okay, I just did that. Now I'm going to set them give keys hat positioning the, the the flywheel touching yonder and also over here the flywheel touching You know, I'm going to put a little, little anti-seize on this one. Uh, you know, most time I don't. Uh, most time I don't use anti-seize. Well, that's something. Uh, just a little bit of that stuff goes a long way. I'm just saying, you use it, you'll know. But I'm going to put a little on, on this one. Bryce punch. Mm. You, you know, you know that key right there was a little bit uh, loose. I'm going to get a different key to go in there. Let's go ahead with this set. I'll put a little of that anti seize on there. I think that sounded real good. And, 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 and that's the correct spacing. I think the rule of thumb on them give keys is Whatever size the key is, is how much gap you're supposed to have. Put that in the side of the book over there if it's right.
But in the meantime, I feel like this one right here is not, it's been filed on. I think that'll be tight enough. Then uh, uh, to recheck uh, just for safety is unhook the springs and extend the governor weights outward like so. Well, let's turn it around where we could get at it. Uh, and what's supposed to happen is the governor rod. It's a short governor rod, a long governor rod. We'll go up and close that uh, dampener valve in there. And so this will come out to max out right there is where it will be at. And this is where the position that will be. Oh yeah. We'll put a little gas in this and get them governor weight springs back on there. I mean, most of the time you adjust them to nothing for a slow running engine. It's a 1920 international kerosene engine. Speed 650, one and one half horsepower. <laughs> 